In this video, I'm going to be taking a first look at some of the potential wonder kids of FM24. I did this using the FM23 Next Gen database. This was created by Passion for FM. The link for this will be in the description. This is Harry Amass, a Watford Academy prospect who has recently agreed a deal to become a Manchester United player. He plays as a left back. In 2027, he has moved to Coventry, has standout stats of pace, agility and acceleration and is now worth up to £19 million. He is a 123 current ability player. Carter Pinnington is a Liverpool Academy prospect who has represented England up to under-16s level. In 2027, he's still at Liverpool and has shown a lot of improvement with even more to come. He is tall and strong and is now worth up to £21 million and has a current ability of 118. Next up, we have 15-year-old Callum Logan from Ipswich, who has recently agreed a deal to move to Spurs in the near future. In 2027, we find him at Spurs, now 20 years old, he has developed well, his physical stats are standouts and he's valued up to £21 million and has a current ability of 114. Leo Shahar is a 15 year old right back from the Wolves Academy. He has recently secured himself a move to Newcastle United. In 2027 we find him at Notts County on loan. He has shown big signs of improvement Standout stats are pace, acceleration and tackling. He's valued up to £24 million and has a current ability of 110. Next up is Harrison Parker. He's a product of the Manchester United Academy and he's a centre-back. He recently was involved in a deal to go to Manchester City that saw Darren Fletcher's sons move to Manchester United. In 2027, Parker is with Manchester United. He has shown big signs of development and is now impressive with his physicals and still has room to grow. He is valued up to £25 million and he has a current ability of 123. Johan Gadou is a Paris Saint-Germain academy prospect who can play as either a right back or as a central defender. In 2027 we find Gadou at Nantes. He has developed into a tall, strong centre back with impressive physical stats. He's valued up to £25 million and comes with a current ability of 127. Lecky Drake is a product of the Manchester City Youth Academy who plays as a centre-back. In 2027 he has moved to Derby and at 20 years old he has progressed as a player with standout stats of pace, acceleration and decisions. He's valued at up to £28 million has a current ability of 114. Braden Clark is a promising centre back from the Wolves Academy. He made Welsh football history by playing for the under 17s at just 15 and helped them to qualify for their first tournament since 1981. In 2027, he is developing well. He has standout physicals, some impressive mentors, and still has room to improve his technicals. He's valued up to £30 million and he has a current ability of 120. Kia Noble is a central defender who has progressed through the Manchester City Academy. He has represented England at under 16s level. In 2027, he's showing massive development. He has standout attributes which include all of his physicals, composure, determination, and passing. He is now valued up to £38 million and has a current ability of 138. Luka Voskovic could be a massive talent. Developed in Croatia by Split, he has been linked to Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain and a whole host of other massive clubs. In 2027, he has signed for Chelsea but has been loaned out to Wolves to help his development. His development fits the billing of one of the best young defensive wonder kids on the planet. He is tall, strong, complete physicals, tackling of 16 and at 20 he will still develop. He is now valued up to £109 million and has a current ability of 155. 
So that completes the defensive wonder kid list. Look out for the midfielders and the attacking list that will be coming soon. Finally, if you've made it to this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you could hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel, I really would appreciate it. There's plenty of content on the channel for both FM23 and there will be things added as FM24 gets ever closer and as we run into the brand new game. For this one though, I'm going to leave it there. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video very soon.